Hi, I'm Em from 21 Readers. Today I'm predicting the nominations for the mystery thriller category in the Goodreads Choice Awards. The nomination should be announced around November 15th, and so here are the 20 books that I think will be nominated in the mystery thriller category. The way I went about this is I made a list of 50 mystery thrillers that were released this year, and now I'm going to walk through which books I think will get in based on many factors including number of ratings, highest ratings, repeat authors, recent popular books, things like that. To be eligible to be nominated, the book has to have been released this year or in November, December of last year, and the book needs to have above a 3.5 rating at the time of nominations. So here we go, here are the 20 books that I think will be nominated this year. I'm going to start with the book with the highest number of ratings and work my way down. First we have The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley with 216,000 ratings. This one only has a 3.69 rating, so part of me is thinking maybe it won't get included this year and maybe it'll get snubbed. However, since this one is so popular and it is closer to a 3.7 than a 3.5, and they guess this one in this category in 2020. I'm thinking this one's gonna get in. I could see it going either way. I could see them not including it this year and I can see it getting in and winning. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for now since it has the highest number of ratings. There we have it, sticking with the Paris apartment for getting in. All right, next we have The Maid sitting at 209,000 ratings. I read this one back in January. It had one of my favorite main characters in a book that I've read this year and I didn't realize it had gotten so popular. So there we have The Maid by Nita Prose, which is also a debut. Next we have A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham sitting at 108,000 ratings. This one was released in January and has a 4.02 rating. Next we have The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen sitting at 100,000 ratings. This author duo's three previous books have all gotten into this category. Their most recent release, their fourth release together, will definitely be getting in. Next is one that I'm not quite as convinced about. It's Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This one's sitting at 74,000 ratings but it's sitting at a 3.6. I'm not quite convinced this one's getting in. Her previous release, The Wife Upstairs, did get in, which makes me think maybe this one will get in. However, a 3.6 is not so convincing when we have many other books sitting at a higher rating that would be eager to replace it in this category. So am I going to put this in? Should I take this one out? I think I'm going to go ahead and tentatively take this one out, but I may come back and put it back in later. But for now, I'm going to take it out and leave a slot for some other worthy contenders. All right, next we have The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James, sitting at 68,000 ratings. This author's two previous books have gotten in to this category, and I'm assuming this one will get in as well. Next, we have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I don't think this one's getting in. This one is only sitting at a 3.59, and last year, Survive the Night did not get in, so I'm more confident in predicting that this one will not get in. His three previous releases got in this category, The Last Time I Lied, Lock Every Door, and Home Before Dark, and then Final Girls was actually nominated in the horror category, not mystery thriller. Okay, moving on, we have a book that I have not heard of among other booktubers, but it's getting a lot of ratings and I think it could get in. It's called Run Rose Run by Dolly Parton and James Patterson. This one released back in March. This one reminds me of the other book that James Patterson wrote with Bill Clinton called The President is Missing that was nominated in this category back in 2018. So I think that this one could get in for Dolly Parton and James Patterson. I hadn't heard of it before doing my research for this video but there we have it. Run, Rose, Run. All right, next we have The It Girl by Ruth Ware. This one's sitting at 63,000 ratings. Her first two books did not get in, The Lion Game and In a Dark, Dark Wood, but all of her books since then have gotten into this category, which are The Woman in Cabin 10, The Death of Mrs. Westaway, The Turn of the Key, and One by One. The It Girl is getting decent ratings, sitting at a 3.9, so I think that it will be getting into this category. Let's check in. How many books have I said are getting in so far? So, so far I have seven nominees locked in. All right, next we have the Reese Witherspoon pick, Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister, sitting at 43,000 ratings, which is pretty decent considering this one just came out in August. The past two years, a Reese Witherspoon book has won this category. Last year, the last thing he told me won, which was a Reese pick. And the year before that, the guest list won, which was a Reese pick. So we cannot count out these Reese picks of Wrong Place, Wrong Time. The other thriller pick that Reese picked this year for her book club was called The Club by Ellery Lloyd, but that one has a low ratings at a 3.33. So that one is disqualified. So that means that the only Reese pick that could be in this category this year is Wrong Place, Wrong Time. And as I'm filming this video, I'm currently reading that book. So by the time the nominations come out, I'll be able to speak more on if I like that book or not. And this one has a pretty high rating, sitting at a 4.14. All right, so now we're sitting at eight. My next prediction is The Overnight Guest by Heather Gudenkoff, sitting at 41,000 ratings, which was published back in January. And following The Overnight Guest, we have Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney, which is sitting at 40,000 ratings. Her release last 
last year rock paper scissors was a nominee in this category and then their 2018 release sometimes i lie was also in this category all right there we have it we're 10 books in let's see what's next all right next i'm predicting finley donovan knocks him dead by el cosimano sitting at 35,000 ratings last year i predicted finley donovan is killing it would get into this category and it did not however i think that the series has built up steam and built up popularity that i think this year's sequel finley donovan knocks him dead could get into this category i think that would be exciting to see a cozy mystery get in last year arsenic and adobo got in which was a cozy mystery which kind of paved the way for cozy mysteries to be in this category so i could see finley donovan number two finley donovan knocks him dead getting into this category this year it's sitting at a 4.02 rating i think that's pretty decent next i'm predicting the lies i tell by julie clark this one's sitting at 35,000 ratings and a 4.15 which is pretty decent the last flight did not get in so this would be julie clark's first nomination in this category now that i've mentioned 12 books that i think are going to get in with the highest number of ratings there are three other things i'd like to discuss when talking about my final predictions in this category books that have a little bit more questionable genres books that were just released and books that have repeat authors so first i'll talk about the books with questionable genres and by questionable genres i mean that it's not necessarily just considered a mystery thriller it might be also mystery and fiction mystery and historical fiction so it falls into multiple categories so it's not as clear cut where this book would be nominated so there are a handful of books that fall into this so first we have what happened to the bennett's by lisa scottolini sitting at 40,000 ratings this one's categorized as mystery and fiction although this author has previously written a lot of historical fiction for example their release last year called eternal was a historical fiction not quite sure if this one would get nominated in the mystery thriller category but it might be worth mentioning another one that falls into the multiple genre category is the love of my life by rosie walsh sitting at 32,000 ratings this one's classified as fiction and mystery so would it get nominated in fiction or would it get nominated in mystery okay next we have one of my favorite books on this list it's called notes on an execution by donna kukovka sitting at 27,000 ratings it's classified as both fiction and thriller this book definitely reminded me of long bright river by liz moore so i looked up what category that was nominated in and it was nominated in the mystery thriller category so i'm gonna go ahead and predict this for the mystery thriller category despite it being classified as fiction and thriller all right next we have the violin conspiracy by brendan slocum this one's classified as both fiction and mystery sitting at 17,000 ratings this one's also a debut this was one of my first five star thrillers that i had back in the beginning of 2022 i hope this one gets recognized in the mystery thriller category despite it only having 17,000 ratings. Those are my books that are in multi-genres that I think could get in. Some books that I don't think they'll get in this year but they're worth mentioning since these authors have gotten in in the past are The Match by Harlan Coben and The Family Remains by Lisa Jewell as well as Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter and Quicksilver by Dean Koontz. Oh it might also be worth mentioning that A.R. Torre and September called A Familiar Stranger because A.R. Torre got in last year in this category. All right, finally, I wanna talk about three books that were just released in October, so they don't have as many ratings since they were just released. However, they could still get in based on early buzz. And those books are The Family Game by Katherine Steadman, Jackal by Aaron E. Adams, and Anywhere You Run by Wanda M. Morris. Katherine Steadman and Wanda M. Morris's previous releases got into this category, and for Jackal, this is a debut. Is that more than 20? Okay, that's only 19 because when I originally made this list I thought I was keeping in Reckless Girls. So hmm, should I keep in Reckless Girls or sub it out with something else? If I were to sub it out with the next highest, two potential contenders are The Night Shift by Alex Finley sitting at 32,000 ratings and we also have Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier sitting at 32,000 as well. Okay I think for the final 20th slot I'm gonna go with Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier sitting at 32,000 ratings because it's sitting at above a 4.0 rating. So I'm just gonna go with her. We'll see. Although every category is hard to predict. I think one thing that makes this category in particularly difficult to predict is because of the whole some categories fitting in multiple genres. All right, there we have it. Those are my 20 predictions for what's getting in for the mystery thriller nominations. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on these predictions and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.